I'm just Joshin, and welcome to episode number 34 of our Pokemon Gold and Silver Randomizer Soul Link. We're still here with our good buddy, Totter. He didn't notice. I'm flexing right now. <laughs> my, my flabby my, muscles. You know why? Because we are the champions! We are the champions of Johto! And Facts. you know, if you didn't watch the last episode, go check it out. It's on Totter's channel. Obviously, oh, a little spoilers, bit of spoilers sorry. in general, right here. That we're, I mean, that this episode exists. I guess this could have been like a little a trip down memory lane. What do they call it? An epilogue in a show? Or you do? Something. No, it's not one of those. Uh, you should go like back that. and check out the last episode. Yeah, <laughs> where we took on the uh, remaining two members of Elite Four plus the champion. We did not come out unscathed. So uh, obviously, we did. We did survive. We made it through. We're on our way to Kanto in this episode. It's gonna be very exciting. We did not uh, come out unscathed. So if you want to see what pair and or pairs we lost in the last episode, you should go check it out. Tyler's channel link in the description below. Absolutely, and it was uh, we could have lost way more than what we lost. We, we got pretty lucky. As much as I was complaining about luck through the <laughs> entire thing, once yeah. we got through it, even with some unlucky breaks on on my end, well, on both of our ends, there yeah. were a couple times where I remember the. Um, the, the early on, like when we went against one of the first Elite Four members, I think there was a moment where your coughing was left on like eight HP, and you were also confused. If you get yeah. yourself in confusion, that yeah. pair's gone. And I used Steelix a lot throughout the the rest of it, so who knows? Like it could have been like a domino situation where that domino falls at the beginning. I don't have Steelix for later battles, and maybe that ends everything. So that one moment of luck right there could have changed the swing of the entire thing. But instead, we oh, yeah. come out with five pairs remaining, and in today's episode, we are going to be heading to Kanto. We told you we were gonna do post-game. Uh, that is still uh, the case. We have defeated the Elite Four. We're gonna uh, grab ourselves a ticket. Uh, I don't, it's not the SSN. What's, that's the most important boat in Pokemon. I don't know what this one's called, but we're gonna go to Kanto today. Our goal is to set foot on Kanto shores by the end of today's episode. We got a couple things to do first. Gotta go bury uh, a long forgotten pair, unfortunately. And then, of course, the boat right there is gonna take some time. Be, probably fight a couple trainers along the way. I think we have to help the captain's lost daughter or something. It's been a while since I've done post game in Gold mm -hmm. and Silver, but it's gonna be a good time. Yeah, it's gonna be like a brand, almost a brand new adventure, considering the fact that we haven't done this portion in quite a number of years. But yes. um, yeah, I mean, pretty much any unfortunate uh, scumbags that want to get in our way are gonna have to fight <laughs> us, and I guess we're just gonna have to deal with that. We're gonna get through them, and um, we're gonna hopefully land on Vermilion and maybe get an encounter at the end of the episode. That's the hope. It would, that is. It, the it'd hope. be pretty cool to end the episode with our our first Kanto encounter. And once we get there, by the way, yes, we have an entire box full of Pokemon. We've been debating what to do about those for like the last couple episodes. We'll talk about that at the end of the episode, assuming we get that encounter. So don't <laughs> worry. But first things first. Absolutely. Oh, I have taken there. one step to the left, and I thought my game crashed. Instead, Professor Realm. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hello, Josh. Hey. Enter. I have something here for you. Uh, could you swing by my lab? <laughs> See you later. We were very close. He could have just yelled out the front window. Swing on by, man. His his kid lingo is just on point for 2000. <laughs> it's like, how about you swing on by to my lab, Coolio, <laughs> gnarly, and whatever. <laughs> <laughs> He's even well, wearing like stylish. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. I called because uh, I have something for you. See, it's an SS ticket. Uh, now you can catch Pokemon in Kanto. <laughs> See, he is cool. Just, just the SS. Or is the boat called the SS ticket? Because that's a horrible <laughs> name for a boat. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Like the guys that the people that made the boat were just like, it's like, gosh, I don't know what to name this thing. And they look down at their ticket and they go, <gasps> <gasps> she's I a beauty. Yeah. <laughs> it's the like, let's go to lunch. From, yeah. <laughs> the ship departs from Alvine City, uh, but you already, but you knew that already, George. After all, you've traveled all over with your Pokemon. Give my regards to Professor Oak and Kanto. <laughs> Will do. You, Is this the last time we're going to see oh. him for the rest of the journey? Oh, there's still, there's still the Pokemon that we left here. <laughs> that poor thing. Oh, yeah. It's, I, it's I, been do here. Do you remember what that Pokemon is for you? Uh, no, I do not. I don't remember honestly. either. I hate to say it. I Whatever hate to it was. Say it. I don't remember. I barely remember my three starters. Whatever it was, it's been there for 34 episodes. <laughs> that poor <laughs> to thing! Be, to oh, be it. fair, it's basically been there for as long as our starters have been in the PC because of <laughs> Shiny Heracross, so. True, <laughs> true. It's not missing out on much. Time to fly on my blob! 
Go to Olive Let's go. Uh, yes, before we ju jump on the boat, like I said, we did not come out of the Elite Four unscathed. Yeah. We have one party mm -hmm. pair to, to deposit, and that is, of course, unfortunately, if you've watched it by now, I'm assuming here comes the spoilers. Kangaskhan mm -hmm. and Magmar, uh, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Susquatch leading the charge right here. Uh, took a crit to the face uh, oh from my a goodness. sand slash and um, well didn't survive. So put the slash in sand slash. Let me tell you. I mean, holy crap! I did, was that one of your? That was one of your starter options, correct? Was a sand slash? Um, yeah, actually, it was a sand slash, uh, a pincer, and a magby. Uh, that magby. Okay. That's what's in that ball. That poor little magby. I feel kind of. That's bad what's now. still there. And I'll tell you what. That was just. Magby, you had Magmar, which was linked with Kangaskhan. The Sand Slash came back and said, How dare you leave behind Magby? How dare you choose Pinsir over me? See you yeah. later, Kangaskhan. Now you're going to lose the Magmar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, that that's kind of how what happened to... Like, it feels like a lot of revenge kills that are happening to us because you lost the Kangaskhan to a vengeful Sand Slash after uh, I didn't choose it. And then I lost a mud chop <laughs> that I accidentally switched in to the starter that we benched for a shiny. Yup. <laughs> Sorry, yep. Pincer. Yeah, it's okay. can't wait Just to come across the uh, spirits from the past. Can't wait to come across the nine tails that heavenly flamethrowers me, just like the glorious <laughs> flames just spewing out of its mouth. That'd probably be the only happy death I'll ever take. Is just like, oh, I yeah. wish to bathe in your I flames. Heard. I heard goodness. this one. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah. by the way, we, we took a look in the PC. Uh, no replacements for the pair that we lost. So, unfortunately, we're going to be going to Kanto with a team of five. But that's okay, because guess it's what? A There's a lot of encounters in yes. Kanto. So, we'll get a full team karma in no time. I tell you what, yeah, the next, like... 10 or so episodes, however long it takes, look forward to a lot of encounters. There's gonna be yes. a lot of them. Absolutely. SS uh, Aqua is what it was today. called. Damn! I, yeah. I, see, I forgot the name completely. I don't know why. It just doesn't grab show, me as much as the SS Am. You show him the SS ticket and he goes, I'm sorry, this is a ticket for the SS ticket. I need you to step <laughs> away, sir, before I call security. We renamed this boat last year. All tickets are null and void. <laughs> As I walk by anyway. Oh, the second guy, I'm gonna I'm gonna battle him. Get him out of the way. I've been kicked. Like, I've been kicked! Better let me by an old man. Is, I think this is the guy who lost his granddaughter. Again, it's it's all fuzzy. Ow! It's just ran into you. Hello there, shut run into Excuse you like that. me, shut. I was in a hurry. My granddaughter's missing. She's just a wee girl. If you see her, please let me know. If he runs into us like that, Maybe. like you break a bunch of bones, you would think. <laughs> hey, my goodness. Have you yeah, seen right. my granddaughter? Oh, I was looking for my I granddaughter, and now I need Is an this... ambulance. Oh, we're on no, a boat. Hey. There's there's trainers in some of these. I can't remember if it's like the SSN where there's, oh. um, he gotcha. I'm gonna, I thought I'm gonna he was avoid. a talker. I thought he was a talker, you not a battle. You know one, too. Uh, I may go for, if there's like... Much like the SSN back in Kanto, if there's items hidden in a room, I may go for it, but I want to say there's like no items off the ship. I think you might be right. Ah, no! Okay, 31, okay, you know, I was talking to Josh before we started this, uh, this episode. And I was like, oh, you know, trainers might be kind of tough, you know? Like, you know, if you get on the boat, go to Kanto, they get a little hard. No, apparently not. I just, I was talking out my, you know what? You would think I, if they're going to Kanto, then they also had to have beaten the Elite Four. Uh, not the case. Uh, just some level 30s here. What does that say about, like, the regions themselves just comparing the two? Like, Kanto <laughs> to Johto? <laughs> Apparently, Johto is weaksauce.com. Uh, Absolutely. You go to Johto, it's like Baby Town Frolics, not to take an archer <laughs> line, but... <laughs> well, you're usually like, I'm trying to think in Kanto, you're probably level 30s. We just beat the Elite Four with level 30s. In yeah. Kanto, red and blue, you're usually level 30s by like, what? The 5th gym? Koga's, you maybe? Like, usually around level 30s for that? Something, something, something like, like that. that. Something like that. I'm going to, uh... This one actually might be a bit of a... Bit of a challenge, this little Snorlax Ooh, here. It's a little under fun. level. Watch out for the belly drum. Does it have... Ooh, watch out for the stab headbutt. Yeah, it's got the stab headbutt, but does it have, like, high special defense? I know its HP is obviously high, but... Poison is defense. I think it's just, like, tanky everything, if I remember I, right. I guess, and you gotta man, worry that... about it using rest. If it uses rest, then even if okay. you poison it, 
Poison's gone, it goes back to full, but that did a pretty good chunk of change yep. to it. We got it, yeah. I think its, de it's defense has to be kind of lowish. It has to be a little low. Because its base, like, its I mean, its uh, total base power has to be, like, 500, something like that. And if it's got high HP, high defense, high special defense, high attack, then broken.com, even if its speed is low. <laughs> I mean, I, that's what I was thinking. I was like, it's got to have a weakness somewhere. It's got to be one of the two. And when I saw the yeah. T-Punch did like nothing, I was like, oh, okay, okay. I was like, let's see what we got here. Is there anything in the chat? Uh, no. This room scares me. I'm going to go ahead and exit that one. I'm not seeing, um, at least short term here, I'm not seeing any items in any of these rooms. Maybe I'm creating, maybe I'm missing them, but uh, I'm nothing seeing in the trash. just zero items total. Like, can you rest in one of these beds? No. I thought you could rest in one of the beds to, like, heal up. There's gotta be- oh yeah, right here. Here's my cabin. Ah, there it is. This guy's yeah. really mad. Don't we gotta bring him- I'm gonna guess we have to bring him a souffle. Could I get you to look for my buddy? He's goofing off somewhere. Okay, maybe his buddy's oh. name is souffle? We do have to do that battle, I remember that. Cause yeah, he's a- he's- he's, uh, slacking off somewhere. Uh, he's, like, chilling on the- the balcony, right? I'm king of the world! That Something guy. Like that. That guy is totally hourly. He can tell. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just taking my 19th smoke break for the day. <laughs> right, it's like, oh, I'll get it done eventually. Sir, Don't you're gonna die. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, right? Where do we, where do we wait, go? Wait, is that the... Wait, no, I'm not gonna find out. Okay, I'm gonna go... Is it, is oh, no, I just... Floor. Just ran around the boat. I'm on the face of the floor. Is this the guy? Is this, is this homeboy? Yeah, that's, that's the guy. Like... If you talk to him, he says, could you look for my buddy, but where's the buddy? <laughs> gotta go we find can't go the body. What the... Oh, he won't let you, man. This guy's—he's yeah, he got let you go past him. He's got the energy of buddy two is. Is, is, is his buddy one of the trainers? Are you the buddy? <laughs> Passengers are all trainers. I don't. Again, I don't remember this portion of the game very well. Hmm. Hello. I don't see a man in any of these. I... I'm assuming he'd look like a sailor. What about this guy? Did you just talk to this guy? I talked to him. Yeah, he's just—he says he's itching. Man, it just, he just—he needs to get that fixed, dude. That sounds like a horrible yeah. medical problem. What this guy? Okay, he's just talking. I did not talk to him. I was oh, scared. He's the, okay, he's, he's yeah. the granddaughter, man. I mean, so, they put him right in front of the door. I was like, he's not going to battle me. No way. Yeah. <laughs> what, what if we... These... Hmm. We talk, we so, battled this guy. Where's the buddy? All right, wait. Are, is this guy the buddy? Blocking uh, the door? Fast ship as... Okay, no. That's, that is definitely nope, not him. You're stuck unless you want to go jump in the water. Be my guest. <laughs> be oh, my this guest. nerd. He's in uh, two rooms to your left. Right and we here? do have to fight him. He, oh, that wasn't nerd! Goof. That wasn't goofing off. What are you talking about? <laughs> I just stand in here right by this table having a cup of coffee. Totally not working. <laughs> just okay. getting ready. No, this is my job. I'm the uh, professional coffee tester for the SS Aqua. <laughs> I guess. How, how's it taste? Does it taste like mm, too laziness? <laughs> oh, bad. Oh, that's I an guess, unfortunate. Actually, it does. Brewed with 100% pure lazy beans. Well, Crobat's about to be brewed with 100% death. So Crobat looks so strange in that game. It, it, it's that's a different sprite than its traditional one in gold, correct? I, that well, sprite looks strange to me. Well, Josh, he looks very dead now. <laughs> he he's not very moving dead. Which yeah, is gold. Unfortunate. Goldie's more like kind of like spread out, just kind of like looking off. He's just like. Argh! And that's then, what, like, yeah, that's this, what I thought. It's more of like this, a front, front on view. In silver, honestly, he looks like he has a little more purpose to him. He, he's like staring ahead at like. <laughs> I'm going, going this way. <laughs> right. Bonk against a Clefable. Clefable is Bonk. like defense. Special defense is all pretty good, I think. He ne Bonk it needs to get about some right to me. He needs some levels. Maybe unless that thing goes and gets a. Metronome yeah. guillotine, I think you're probably fine. It, with one level above me. Just one level above. Exactly. But I want to play Metronome Roulette, though. Let's go. Nope, I'm not going to get there. Level 26, brother? Dude, do you know we just did the Elite Four? The leveling <laughs> in this game is just so strange. I know they, like, fit yeah. a whole second region in the post game, and maybe that screwed up all the leveling, but it's so yeah. weird. Like, it is you, weird. You go through these moments of, like, Oh, I'm over leveled. I'm over leveled. I'm over leveled. I'm over leveled. I'm so under leveled. I'm over leveled. I'm over leveled. <laughs> well, like, imagine <laughs> if we actually grinded up to like the level 50s that most people probably did when they were kids to take on the Elite Four, and then you come here and you're fighting 26s. Yeah, that that's how I feel when we go to um, the Rocket, uh, the Team Rocket Underground. Uh, you go to Team Rocket yeah. Underground when you're at the high 20s and you're facing like high teens, lower 20s. 15, 16, like, yeah. It's like, why am I wasting my time? 
It's like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> it's like, I did not sign up for this. Not one No, bit. absolutely not. And it's yeah. like, yeah, you know, and then the problem is, you know, us, you know, we're trying to create the most entertaining content possible. So we're like, these are just easy peasy battles. Let's skip them. <laughs> so, so you're uh, like, wait a, a minute, we gotta be funny. Level. You're like, wait a minute, we gotta <laughs> exactly. be funny without the challenge. Are you kidding me? <laughs> exactly. We gotta yeah. add our own artificial tension instead of the game just throwing a left hook out of nowhere. <laughs> right. It's like, that's what the Elite Four is for, apparently. Because, yeah, we jumped into there and it was all just, like, big brain power just going back and forth, it like, what do I do here, here, here. a couple left hooks here. that I was not ready for. Thankfully, we <laughs> took them like a champ, mostly, except for Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan did not take that like a champ. Lance that didn't left take hook it like... from the Saiyan Slash. Lance took it like a champ, too, if you know it, because he's a champ. You get, you get what I'm going for. Okay, let's send this guy back to... I need to I need to have just a drum set next to me. Dude, I hope... For those yeah, kind of moments. Yeah. Rib shot. I hope yeah. this guy goes back to his buddy and just gets thrashed. See, right? he's, he thrashed him so hard that he can't even move to block us anymore. He's so tired. I chewed him out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet you did. The little girl? Yeah, the guy that I just sent back to is the little girl. Yeah, ah! exactly. <laughs> Get bodied, nerd. Got him. I think this guy's just puking, right? Or is, is that he? the little girl? No, that is guy's he? just vomiting, I think. Is he vomiting? Eh, nothing, nothing in there. Oh, he's... usually it says, like, I shouldn't have looked. <laughs> right. So that's, that's the captain. Different. That's when you go see the captain. Oh, little and girl, I found you. Oh, you did. Shoot! Don't do no! it. Don't talk to her. She's not a little girl. She's a full grown <laughs> woman and she will fight you. <laughs> mine, was even, mine was worse because I just. I saw the sailor. He was looking straight up. I was like, I already know what this guy wants to do, but I'm. I just keep walking. I don't <laughs> Hello! I was lured by the idea that there might be a rogue item or two just hanging around and I just. I was not looking at him. I wasn't! Mm -hmm. I, got, I gotta admit. Oh, look at so Noctowl with a million about, HP. Ooh, from what I remember about this portion of the game, like, again, just the the feat of shoving two regions into a single Game Boy Color cartridge is very great. So, like, I'm not trying to judge anything about the post. And the post game in this game is, I mean, there's no other game where you get 16 badges. So it's probably one of the richest post game experiences of all Pokemon games. But yeah. when you get to Kanto, it's pretty bare bones. Like, they took out most of the items because there wasn't room to put them. Some, like, random walls are missing from the first time I went there. It's just, like, direct yeah. routes from, like, town to town to town. And I think right. that's why there's no items on this boat, either. Yeah. I still agree that it's, like, one of the deeper experiences. I just... My biggest complaint is that even the first part feels kind of condensed in a way. Like, but maybe it's yeah. just because that you go into, like, your final gym battle and Elite Four battle with Pokemon that don't seem very leveled. So, I, I don't know. No, I just feel like not there's not a lot going on there. But I feel like that's because they had to fit, they wanted to find a way to fit 16 regions into here, or 16 badges, two regions. So they really had to tighten it up. And it, But it's still made for a great game. I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm just, like, like adding, like my own idea to it like for sure like that that and first all part makes still feels kind of short when you yeah. get that battle with red at the top of mouse oh that's yeah. like the peak of pokemon <laughs> that's one of the greatest moments in pokemon ever but before i go too far into that we have a little maybe girl to we'll talk get, to maybe we'll get there in a couple of episodes <laughs> right captain please play with me please <laughs> i'm so glad i didn't have to do it <laughs> i'm bored i want to play more i want to play more this is why i will never have children yeah, right. <laughs> Hi. Hi, will you play with me? No, I will not. <laughs> oh! Grandpa's worried about me. I have to go get on my way, Deku! <laughs> I have to go find what? Grandpa. That's the plot twist of the century. <laughs> You're right. It's Bakugo's daughter. <laughs> da, da, da. Grandpa, <laughs> here I am. I was playing with the captain and this guy. I didn't do anything. Oh, Jason Turner, was it? I heard you entertained my granddaughter. I want to thank you for that. I know I'd like you to have this. <laughs> not randomized. Not random. I guess given items are not randomized. So that makes sense. I'm <laughs> like, here, here, uh, random guy's granddaughter, play with my wheezing. <laughs> yeah. Wheezing uses sludge. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Metal coat's pretty good. I mean, just Ooh, even whoa. if we don't evolve, she's not a steel type. Absolutely. 
Yeah, man. All right, uh, and I already have a Steelix, so I actually don't need the Metal Coat, but if either of us get a Scyther eventually, and we are in Kanto, so they are here, although we can't add a bug type to the team, this would be the time to do it. And ladies and gentlemen, in I, I, faster than I thought, I thought the boat took forever. We are already in Vermilion City. The first steps into the, well, technically we took steps in the Kanto region. We went to the Avor. Forget about that. The true first steps into the Kanto region are now here. That's right. We walk over um, here is, and we're just like, is this man, I got Pokemon of level 35 <laughs> and I dominated Johto. And every trainer around this region is just like, please, yeah. <laughs> please. Um, but so is this, this is technically Vermilion City, but I guess we can go get it. We can go get the encounter in actual Vermilion City. I was hoping this would be like a different route and we could get an extra encounter, but sure. it looks like it's just Vermilion, unfortunately. I think, yeah. So we could pretty much do it wherever. Like if I want to fish off the dock, I could do it that way. But Absolutely. I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind jumping into the actual town itself and just kind of mingling around. I think uh, if you go surf. to... If you go to the Pokemon fan club's house, I think you get a rare candy there. If you talk to them Ooh, for a million hours. Always good. Always delicious. But this is something that we haven't done in about, what, three or four episodes, Josh? It's been um, a while between boat shenanigans, elite four shenanigans, victory road. It has been probably three-ish episodes since we've gotten <gasps> an encounter. And I guess I'll go ahead and quickly explain who's going to I thought, I th well, first off, I thought of a way. Well, I guess first, first off, it's your encounter. But swag, we can apparently get an encounter at Indigo Plateau as well. Really? It's on the list. Like we could always fly it because Indigo Plateau's in Kanto. We could get this encounter and fly there and see if there's water. We might be I able to get. There, ha there has to be. I don't know how we yeah. didn't see that. I know. For going Nobody into the Elite Four, maybe we were just so excited about the level fifties <laughs> we were about to face. Hey, real quick, I Josh. Don't know. We, I'm just all for checking. Um, Just to dig into your memory, do you remember what you encountered when I encountered that uh, Kingler in Victory Road? Because I forgot. I to think it was an Ampharos. I had to do like a yeah, million right. dupes encounters, and I'm pretty sure I finally got yep. a correctly gendered Am for Ampharos, you if I remember correctly. And speaking yep. of dupes and taking forever, yep. um, so we sat and we thought, and we were like, well. Originally when we came to Kanto, we were going to just wipe the slate clean. We were going to bring in the team that we won the Elite Four with. Uh, basically, disregard all of the existing pairs we already had in the box and say, we're starting fresh from here, new encounters, no dupes, whatever. And not use any of the previous pairs from Johto. But to be honest, the more pairs, the merrier. And the more options for team building. So what we've decided is we're going to keep those pairs in the box. We're going to still be able to call dupes and species claws if we run into Pokemon that we've already captured before. That way it gives us a chance at least to maybe find some new stuff because there's still some really cool Pokemon on the board that we have not run into yet. Things like a Skarmory uh, or a Dragonite or several ghost types, Gengars are out there. There's a lot of cool stuff we haven't run into so we want to have the chance. However, we also don't want to waste your guys' time and sit here for 10,000 years doing there's only 250 Pokemon, 251 Pokemon in the game, and we've captured a lot of them, so we don't want to just sit here for, and there's a lot of encounters. We just don't, we don't want to sit here for hours going, it doops, 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 until we find something we want. So, in Kanto, mm -hmm. here's the rules. First person to get the encounter, both of us, whenever we get an encounter, you can call dupes up to two times per encounter. So let's say, what's a Pokemon I have in my party right now? I find a Steelix. I say I already have a Steelix, I call dupes. Next, I find a Venusaur, I already, or a Bulbasaur, I call Species, I already have it. From that point on, whatever I get next, dupes or not, that's my encounter. Doesn't yep. matter what it is, that is my encounter. So there's a little bit of risk reward there. I passed up on a great, two great Pokemon, a Venusaur and a Steelix, for the chance of getting something new, something different, I might get stuck with another Ditto. Who who knows? <laughs> um, and yep. then the same is true for the the person on the opposite side when they're pairing something up. They get two in, two chances. They can call dupes twice, um, and then on that third encounter, they have to take it. The only exception being for that second person who's getting the pair. If it's an illegal pair, for example, two males or two females or two water types, if it's a pair that doesn't work, that doesn't count as dupes, and you can continue encountering until yep. you get something that works and you've used up your two dupes. Yep, long, to long story short on that is that you can only call dupes in if it makes a legal pair. Correct. Um, yep. So that should, it gives us a chance to maybe find some new stuff while keeping the existing pairs in the box, and it should make it so that each encounter doesn't take a 35 minutes, which is always <laughs> good to me. I just realized I don't have a Pokemon that knows Surf anymore because uh, big rips to 
Uh, oh, Kangas Khan, yeah. so let me go ahead and teach Surf very quickly, and then if it is my go, I'm mm -hmm. going to quickly get my encounter here. Um, who wants you, Newt? Who, wants, who would I Surf on? I mean, it looks like Hypno could have a really good breaststroke, maybe. If it, maybe, it didn't look so could, cumbersome like, psychic, as a Pokemon. You could create like, like just, a psychic wave to to carry me across the ocean. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, like maybe, maybe Hypno's breaststroke is more like, I think this is a breaststroke, he's just like, He's just really <laughs> slow. He just looks really <laughs> slow. Like like when it comes it's to like all his motion, like a sloth, just like a. Sloth. But he's zooming. <laughs> yeah, it's like we'll get there eventually. Yeah. All right, <laughs> I will go for my victory road and victory road, brother. Vermilion <laughs> City encounter. Let's I already see what we can road. do here. It's there are Pokemon good. here. Quit. I get to decide if I want to fish. Maybe I'll fish. I'm gonna prep the rod. I'm gonna prep the old rod. Oh, oh there we go. This remixed music and that species. So it's it's the exact example I just brought up. So yep. I did just get a metal coat. So technically, this is a potential Steelix in waiting. Um, do I press? There's a chance I run back into it again. So I'm gonna I'm gonna call species one time. I'm gonna All see right, what so I one. run into a second time. Boom! If I get it a second time, I might just go for it. All right. No more onyx. It's tempting. All right. Oh, you see her on the that's shore. That's missing. Got. No, it's a missing. No, glitch, glitch. Oh, that's that. Oh, that would that, that would have been awesome. But uh, this is a new Pokemon <laughs> for me. I do not have a seal or a dugong. Are you primary water or ice? I would love it if you were ice, uh, but I think you're water. Pretty sure it's water. But it's big rips. I would check though because I can't. I can't speak to hundred. Every time I say that I'm sure on a primary typing, I'm wrong. So. <laughs> All right, my turn. <laughs> All right, I already registered the I item. I'm gonna to double check. I also just realized this thing's gonna roar, beam my Venusaur, and kill me. So that's a yeah, problem. that that'd be bad. And look at the level though; that's pretty good. It's not bad. Dugong is uh, water ice, unfortunately, and that is dupes. Be yeah, that's dupes. Stamina would a male, be cool. Okay, no, it's a female, so that is a dupes because it would you know what? that would have been a legal pair. It's too bad. It's too bad that Dugong is not. You know what? I'm gonna check right now. Because if Dugong is a primary ice... It's not, I just checked. It's primary water. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, because if it was, then I would bypass the dupes and catch it. Because that's could be have been a, pair. a pair. Yeah, no, yeah. unfortunately it right. is primary water, water ice, so... It so is that's not one. a viable pair. There's so few ice types in the game. <laughs> right. So I'm gonna fish one more time. And if it's a dupes clause, if it's dupes or species again on, an, on a legal pair, then I'm gonna surf. Oh, be a male. Be a male. Give me another chance. Okay, that's a yeah, male. That chance. don't count. Right. That's that another count. chance. There you go. There you so, go. Right. That's the problem with fishing is there's only, I think, a couple encounters in the in the pool of, of fishing encounters, so your chances of re-encountering that Stantler are probably decently high. Probably, yeah. I should have just jumped in the pool. Should have just jumped in head first. <laughs> I'm just dipping the toes in right now. Let's see. Another Stantler. Yeah, it's yeah. Stantler again. Another male, please? Yeah, it's another Let's male. Go. Okay, I'm just jumping in the water. Forget it. There you so go. Apparently, nothing well, but nothing but reindeer. Pokeballs. Santa must have uh, like Santa's. This must be the North Pole, and just like global warming took over, melted all the ice caps. <laughs> and now they're still here. Now, they're just chilling. Now he and all his Stantler are just underwater. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, here we go. We're gonna go into the depths. The depths. Ooh, you're of way Vermilion far City. down there. All right, so this you can still. Ooh. <sighs> Uh, that's a female. That's do I dare? Oh, no way! That, that you know all. what? I don't have that Pokemon, so I can't call any of that. Call so that's... There you go. Well, to be honest, it's a that's great funny. Gen One pair. Yeah, Dugong and uh, Ponytail eventual Rapidash. I like that combo. You had the Ponytail, right? On my Jolteon. Yeah, I yes, had the Jolteon. I have the Ponytail. Okay. Uh, Ponytail. I have the Ponytail <laughs> paired with your Jolteon. That's fine. I'll take it. So I can swift this thing. I can actually knock it down a little bit. So I'm gonna do that. Just don't, uh, ooh, that hurt, kind of. Uh, let's take that. Okay, good. It's gonna get into the yellow. It did not get into the yellow. Okay. Well. What's the name of the lion from Chronicles of Narnia? Uh, you're asking the wrong person. It starts with an A, <laughs> right? Hey, Google. What's the name of the lion in Chronicles of Narnia? It starts with an A. Awesome. According uh, to Wikipedia, Aslan nope, that's all I needed. <laughs> all I needed. Like, stop, just the name. Stop. Just the name, Google. Voice just the name! <laughs> that's all I needed. It's all like right, you haven't I'm talked to me in two months. I need this. <laughs> <laughs> I need human Narnia. Is that really its name? 
That's the lion. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and nick. It's a, it's a sea lion. So uh, we'll just take the lion portion of that. Yeah. I need to buy balls after this. Yes, I'm balls. also pretty low. I think I only have like ten of, across everything left. All right, that's fine. I'm gonna. I, I would feel this would be a one ball catch. The sleepy pony tot. It's not in the yellow yet, but. Probably. Okay. Oh, maybe not. It's crazy. I mean, like, th this is the crazy thing about how fast Kanto is. I can just go take on Lieutenant Surge if I wanted to right now. I'm not going it's to. Like, it's like, why did they put the cut tree there? They don't need it. <laughs> we you have done everything. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's like they need to put, like, his gem up on a waterfall with rocks that you gotta smash. There we go. Let's Probably go. Our first fall. Kanto pair, technically. We'll call it that. Even though, again... Technically, Kanto pair we already got on Route 27 or whatever. Forget that one. This is the true symbolic first Kanto pair. That's right. What do I call this thing? What do I call this thing? Um. Oh, I wonder if I can do this. Uh, because I haven't used mine in a while. Hey Alexa, what's the name of the horse in Shadow of the Colossus? Would that work? Here's something I found on the web. According to Wikipedia.org. Oh. 50. Similarly, the key element in Shadow of the Alexa, stop! <laughs> What's she talking about? <laughs> I don't know! But I'm gonna call it element. It said the word element. No! There you I go. don't know. I just. Still I, I don't want to spend forever. I, 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 the Shadow of Colossus Horse has to have a name, and I never played that game, and I know I should. I've heard that game no, is I've amazing. Heard good I, I think it has a remake too, but even the original was like. Horse and Shadow of the Colossus. <laughs> Don't want volume of, me. of the horse. Agro. 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 Oh. Well, too late. I already named it Element. So there you I go. Like Element. That's a good yeah. name. Yeah, I'm with it. But thanks a lot, Alexa. I guess I should have gotten a. I guess I should have gotten a. <laughs> no, wait, you didn't hear that. You didn't hear that. I didn't mean it. Um, okay. Well, since we've done that, Josh, would you like to go to Indico Plateau? See what's going on over there. I guess if we can fly there very quickly, yeah. I am semi interested in what the heck we missed because I I feel like I would have seen something there, but uh, okay, they, there's no way. Yeah, see, there's Where nothing here. Why would it be on my here? list? Why? Somebody lied to me. <laughs> Somebody lied to me. Where like what? Can, in the rocks? That's technically is there like a secret road? exit in? I is the. Uh, I have no idea. I don't know where else you would get... If this is Indigo Man. Plateau, I don't, I don't know where else you would get an encounter here. I'm gonna sound like a fool when I get to, uh... Yeah, so you can't really go to the sides either. Like, there's no way to get there, no. I don't think. I don't see Why? any... Inside, I don't see anywhere to get an encounter either. And the man with man. his apron disappeared. I couldn't... I could've just stolen that, but... Why would somebody lie to me like that? I blame whoever <laughs> made this... This list! This lit fake encounter. Well, that's okay. You know, we still got our first. Oh, not hyper potions. I'm buying ultra balls. We still got our first Kanto encounter, and that feels pretty darn good. I'm very excited about it. Yeah. Uh, next episode, again, Kanto uh, kind of flies, so it's very possible we may just do Lieutenant Surge next episode. Like you can kind of just tackle the gyms in whatever order. order. We're definitely gonna get several encounters because there's encounters galore all around Vermilion. You can go north of it. The Snorlax actually might be blocking to the right, so I don't know how many encounters we can get before we jump in to fight Lieutenant Surge, but uh, we'll probably do Lieutenant Surge next episode, which of course will be on Totter's channel. Link in the description below. Go check that out. It'll be on Tuesday, which are always a dang good time. Mm -hmm. uh, but with that, do you have anything else to add, Totter? Um... First off, I want to say that I'm thankful for anybody that stuck around after I gave oh, false absolutely. information about Indigo Plateau. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for not saying these guys are idiots, I'm out of here. But no, thanks for watching, anyways. But other than that, no, I'm 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 good to go, man. For sure. And thanks to everybody who stuck around for the first half. I hope you're excited for the post game. It, it'll definitely be quicker. It took about 35 episodes ish to get through the first half. I'm guessing it'll probably take us about half that to get through Kanto. Um, just because it's pretty streamlined, but encounters galore, gym battles galore, and if, like we teased at earlier, all leading up to hopefully, potentially, one final battle against the man, the myth, the legend himself. <laughs> but getting a little ahead of ourselves. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on Tuesday. See you later. Let's go to Indigo Plateau and catch a Pokemon that we can't <laughs> catch, Josh. Can I catch this rock? <laughs> <laughs> Series over. Yeah, catch it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>